understandably, Juliana Kanyomozi spends a considerable amount of time at Skia Studios in Intinda, where she records most of her songs. Her professional musical journey started 12 years ago, but music also influenced her early life, where she often sang at secondary school. There is more to Juliana Kanyomozi than the music. I love my me time a lot. I'm a hard worker. I like being a mother, 100%. I am a daughter uh, from Fort Porto. Raised in Kampala. <laughs> she comes from a family of six children, although one of her brothers passed away. She attended primary school at City Parents and joined Namasagali College for her secondary. You'd recommend for anyone who is in the arts, someone who wants to do, for example, someone wants to be in the entertainment business, that was the perfect school. Um, Father Grimes just had a way of molding us into the things we've become today. And, you know, when you're young and you're at school, you don't see some of these things. Yeah. Namasagali College left such an impression on that Juliana believes it was there that her talent and several others who attended the school was nurtured. She has been referred to as a diva. The truth is that she is also a princess from the royal family of Toro by virtue of being a cousin to King Oyo. I think first of all, you need to find your, what you're gifted in. Many times we make decisions and we forget that there's one thing that's very important. Am I gifted in this particular thing? Like for example, um, I always wanted to be a lawyer when I was a kid. What? Yes, I wanted to be a lawyer when I grew up <laughs> because I wanted to fight for people's rights and all. Until today, I'm so passionate. But I'm not so sure whether I'm gifted when it comes to arguing out a case. Uh... But, so it's the same thing with music. If someone wants to start singing, wants to be an artist, first of all, you need to, to, to check yourself. Are you gifted in this? To Juliana, music is not just about singing. The message also matters to her. It comes with, 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 you have to be really organized. You have to know what you want. You have to be focused. Because music is, 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 is just like being a pilot. It's just like being a teacher. It's a profession. It's not just about having fun and jumping on stage and singing. She has made her name in the music world. But Juliana does not forget where she is coming from. It was a challenge back then. It was difficult. You couldn't do a concert because, hey, who's going to turn up? I remember we'd do music and you take it to a radio station. And they're like, um, you want me to play your songs? <laughs> who are you? Yeah. You know, that's the question you get. Like, seriously, yeah. who are you? And they, they were right. That, yeah. That we were nobodies. People have always asked, yeah. oh, Juliana takes so long to release songs. But, yeah, yeah why is that? What is unique about that? Or why is that, the way does it happen to you? I believe that everyone has got their own style of, of marketing themselves yeah. and, and marketing their work. Oh yeah? Personally, that works for me. Okay. So this is the studio. Yeah. Where all the magic happens. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is where the, the producer actually sits. He sits right here. Yeah. And then we... we record the vocals from the other side mm -hmm. so everything so as an artist I guess you you know how to play one of the instruments <laughs> <laughs> no I don't I haven't been that lucky um, I'm learning how to play the guitar yeah. but I in terms of uh, instruments no I'm not yet there growing up Juliana keenly followed her role models and attributes part of her success to them some of those that stand out um, I'll start with Uganda. Yeah. I grew up listening to Fila Lutaya and, yeah. and uh, Karo Nachina. Um, on the international scene, I, um, I grew up listening to Mariah and Whitney. Those influenced me a lot vocally. <laughs> with over 20 awards in the music career, the singer is also a mother with a son, Kenron. 
So <laughs> how do you manage to, to cope up or balance between being a mother at home mm. at the same time you, you, you gain on stage? Mm. These are like some two huge institutions that you have to focus on. During the week, I, I, I sort of have my schedule really written out properly. I have my meetings during the day. Very early in the morning, I take my son to school myself. I wake up early, prepare him myself, and then pick him at four. And by that time I'm done with my meetings, I don't mix the two. Is there a time when you felt most alone? When I released the Navikoa album, and then I took a break, I remember I got a lot of um, pressure from the media. People said all sorts of things. Oh, ya guamu. You know, all these things. I remember it got so depressing at some point. I got really depressed. I, got, I felt so alone. And our fans would be happy to know that Juliana set her targets very high. They will sure hear more from her. I want to make my country proud internationally. Yeah. I want people to know that Uganda has talent. They just need to know. Just need to see it. So anyway, I, I, I still feel like I have a lot to achieve. I don't think I've got anywhere... Even okay. half of it. Half. Family and career are her priorities, but the layers to this renowned singer are many. I, I do a lot of charity work. Okay. Um, three years ago, we started um, a school with my, with my mom and my auntie yeah. in my village yeah. in Fort Porto. Yeah. It's for girls, girls mm -hmm. who haven't, um, you know, got the, the, the opportunity to go to school and get a proper education and we are helping them teach them life skills, you know. Juliana is also a seasoned radio presenter and used to present a morning radio show on Capital Radio. Tell when a song is starting and then you look out for the her fame and music prowess also won her a sport as a judge in the famous Tasca Project fame. <laughs> <laughs> Juliana's sister, Laura, watched her rise to win the Best International Afrobeat Act Award in the competitive Black Entertainment Film, Fashion, Television and Arts Awards, BEFTA, held in the United Kingdom and also won the Cora Awards for the Best Female Artist in East Africa. So what does she make of what Juliana has become today? She's kind, she's friendly and she wants things done on time and in order. You know, you have to be on time, you have to do things right and all that and we all know that at home so we try to live by that. Indeed, the journey has just begun for Juliana Kanyomozi. That is my dad. Maurice Chol, NTV. My dad and this is my son and these are the two most important men in my life.